Yeah, today we're gonna be adding to our breakfast menu with three different types of bagels. We're also gonna be making a cream cheese that is free from nuts and soy. Mm-hmm. My name is Andrew from the tag team duo at makeitdairyfree.com. So today, our everything dough is being tested to deliver on a breakfast favorite of many, the bagel. The bagel we're gonna be making is very similar to a New York style bakery bagel. Not that thing that you get at the grocery store. If you've never had a New York style bagel, um, put it like this, someone can basically be doing this. And you'll be like, is someone at the door? Nope, just my New York bagel here. Not only that, we'll also be whipping up a uh, cream cheese that everyone can enjoy. You ready? Let's do this. If you've been with us for a while, hopefully it doesn't surprise you that this dough can make bagels also. If you're new here, what's up? We have a dough at makeitdairyfree.com that can make all of it and more. This time around, we're going to be dumping all five ingredients into a stand mixer, but this does have the capability of being made in a bowl with your hand. Technically, you don't even need a bowl. You could do it right on the counter. I mean, I'm. I'm not doing it. I got me a bowl. Give the ingredients a quick stir before you dump in the water. You're gonna knead the dough until it becomes smooth and pulls completely away from the bowl. Bagel dough is supposed to be pretty dense, so you may need to add like a little flour here and there to make sure it firms up. I guess the question is, how do you know if you're supposed to add flour? It's simple, touch the dough, if it comes off on your hand, then add flour. If it doesn't, you're all good. Get the dough onto the counter and begin to shape it into a ball. If you're making plain bagels at this point, all you need to do is cut the dough out into eight pieces and then shape it into a bagel. But since we're gonna be making blueberry and everything seasoning bagels, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate some good flavor into these bagels. This way you can make some creations of your own. If you're gonna to be topping the bagels with seasoning, sort of like the everything seasoning, that's gonna happen a little further down the line in the video. But if you're adding ingredients into the bagel, such as blueberries like we're gonna be doing here or raisins, what you wanna do is incorporate that into the dough before you cut and shape them. Here, we're gonna be doing fresh blueberries. Warning, it is much easier to do dried fruit and to do this very same part I'm gonna show you inside of a stand mixer. But of course, I just had to show you how to do it outside of a stand mixer just to prove a point that it can be done. It was messy as. If you're doing fresh fruit, which is my preference, due to the taste and less process, you're just gonna need about a cup to a cup and a half of extra flour available. This is because you're gonna knead it until the dough is no longer wet and sticky. Once ready, shape the dough into a ball and flatten the ball a little bit, then cut it into half. Cut the halves into four pieces each. The easiest way I feel to shape your bagel is to roll your piece of dough into a small ball. Next, slightly flatten out the ball into the palm of your hand. Use your pointing finger to push a hole through the middle until you touch your palm. Then use your pointing finger from your other hand and put that through the hole you just made and get your roll on. Where was I? When done, cover them and let them rise for about 60 minutes. Bagels are kinda like pretzels, where you wanna get them into a bath to help them form a good crust. So after the rise, in your boiling water, you're going to add some sugar and baking soda, then begin carefully placing your bagels into the water. Boil each side of the bagel for about one minute 
then remove it and place it on a baking tray. For topping the bagels, we're gonna be using everything seasoning. With egg wash, AKA dairy-free milk, brush a little onto the tops of each bagel. Then take the bagel and dip it into the bowl of seasoning to coat it. From here, place the bagel back on the tray to go in the oven and wait patiently for your homemade fresh bagels. While we already have a cream cheese recipe on the website, this one I'm making has no cashews and no tofu. And again, no weird stuff. So the base of this recipe is going to be butter beans. Add this into a blender with lemon juice, coconut oil, agave, salt, oat flour, and apple cider vinegar. Turn it on and voila. All right, family, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Pinterest. We may not have a video for everything, but you definitely don't want to miss out on our latest and greatest recipes. Till next time, fam, believe in good. Peace.